Tonight at 5.30, it has been uh, roughly a month now since people were displaced by a big fire, three-alarm fire at the corner of McAllister and Divisadero in San Francisco. Yeah, the cause is still under investigation, and many who lived in that apartment building, they're still trying to rebuild their lives. Yep. But now our Rob Nesbitt joins us uh, to talk more about this couple who lives, uh, I guess, on the first floor? Third floor of the building. Third floor? Yeah, the same the same viewpoint when we were at the scene of the fire last month where flames were shooting out. It's one thing to have a fire destroy your home, but it's an entire another thing when you find out that looters took what was left that the fire didn't claim. Flames shot out of this San Francisco apartment building on August 23rd, out of the same floor that Justin St. Peter lived on at McAllister and Divisadero. He was home when the fire started and made it out unharmed. All I had was my, my wallet and my phone um, and the clothes that I was wearing, not even a pair of socks. 13 residents displaced and one person seriously injured. Justin's fiance, Marion Olier, was away the day of the fire, returning to find that her apartment went from this to this. Something absolutely traumatic to go through because you walk through like literally wounds of what was your life. According to the San Francisco Fire Department, after the flames were put out, the building was released to the owner the next morning. St. Peter says there was a time period between then and when a team arrived to board up the building that looters got in, taking everything they could have value. My GPS watch stolen, I had my bike computer stolen, we had our wedding ring stolen. The couple say the only things they were able to salvage after the looters and fire were items of clothing starting a GoFundMe to raise money that will be divided up among displaced residents based on need, their neighbors who are worse off being priority. When they're like other people who like don't have a job anymore, lost absolutely everything. Marion and Justin were able to secure a new apartment last week, counting their blessings a month after the fire that destroyed their last home. I'm glad that we were, were safe and that, you know, everybody that was in the fire ended up being safe as well. I reached out to the San Francisco Police Department about lootings after fires. They say they are aware that this occurs in the city, but that they don't collect data on the lootings. Police suggest the use of security cameras to help deter the crime and to capture an image of suspects if a looting does occur. Reporting live in studio, I'm Rob Nesbitt, Cron 4 News.